Hi, I finished listening to a book on Audible and it's one that was recommended to me by a friend and it's called Penance by Eliza Clark. Now, I, I hadn't um, know her debut novel was Body Parts and I haven't read that. So it, this is my introduction to the author, say. And this is a book that there are so many layers and there are so many trigger warnings in here. You know, it's, oh, you've got murder, you've got abuse, you've got self-harm, you've got all sorts of trigger warnings in here. Um, and it was a fascinating read. Um, it's also very disquieting. Um, it starts off with a journalist revisiting a gruesome crime from the past. Seven years previously, um, in a fictional fading seaside down, um, not far from Scarborough, I think, a teenage girl was brutally murdered by her friends. And our journalist wants to explore this case. And so what we have are transcripts of are his interviews with the friends, the family of the friends, the mother of the murdered girl, interviews with people who live in the town, old classmates. We have all of these interviews. You've also got true crime podcasts um, because it did, this book delves into this crew, true crime um, obsession that there is, this obsession with true crime. So it follows true crime podcasts. So you have those. And you've also got fan fiction because there's also this obsession, it, it looks at the obsession with serial killers. And these websites, these forums that have built up, these fan, um, uh, you know, fa fan sites for these serial killers, fan fiction where people create little dramas, little stories about their serial killers. So it's all of these things. And then you've got this obsession with the occult and in the town you've got folklore, the folklore of the town that seems to feed into everything. And it's not a whodunit, because we know who did it. We know what happened. We know who's convicted. What this seems to be is it's an examination of teenage girlhood and the way friendship groups ebb and flow, the toxicity of some of these friendship groups. Friends one day, enemies the next. You, you see how little cults almost can grow within these friendship groups. You're either in or you're out, and if you're out, you know, woe betide. And then add on to this online life, the social media that allows anonymity. You can create another persona to troll, to pick at, to bully online, to stalk. And then you've got the town itself because, you know, we've got the town with its folklore, but the town has also got a celebrity paedophile. So you've got all these things going on. And then you've also got the fact that we're told in the beginning, this journalist has been cancelled. He's been tie, um, t 
tied up in wiretapping. So is he reliable? Is anything that we have read, that we read, reliable? You, you, you have to keep flicking backwards and forwards and think, hang on, this is fictional, isn't it? It is fictional, isn't it? You have to, you have to sort of step back something. And to, you know, you know, it, it has got that feel about you. Hang on, am I reading about something real or something fictional? You know, it's it's an examination of true crime culture and how we're obsessed with it and how the internet can be used to create and delete, to create narratives, to delete narratives, to change stories and. Then you've got all these teenage groups that, <sighs> and as as you're listening to the stories of the girls, you know you you don't know what's reliable or not because they don't agree about anything. You know, it, well, it wasn't me; it was her. It's her. Yeah. You know. So this, all these layers, uh, what is reliable and what isn't. Um, what I came away with, maybe I shouldn't have come away with something like this. I just, I came away thinking, I am so glad I'm not a teenage girl today because life was so much easier when I was a teenager. We didn't have all this. Back in my day, we didn't have the internet. Um, and life seems so much easier. But it was a very disquieting read because... You weren't really sure who was reliable. And these deep dives into all these different cultures, the crime, you know, the online, the crime culture, and all, it's fascinating. So that was Penance by Eliza Clark. So happy reading. Take care.